On January 14, 2020, I turned 40. And I don't have a lot of the typical reactions like lamenting the loss of my youth or fears of saggy boobs and senior citizen discounts, which are all in my imminent future. But what I do have is a sense of some hard truths that I take with me into the next decade. I'd like to share them with you. I'm Kamna, and I'm going to make you a little uncomfortable. Don't fight. Technology has brought us wonderful advances as a society, but I also think it takes us away from ourselves as individuals and as humans. I mean, yes, from a spiritual standpoint, you can meditate with an app. Fuck, you can meditate with an app. You see my point? And this is something in my 40s that I'm determined to reclaim. My humanity, to not outsource my mental functionings and my instincts to an app. And while the world at large can glorify AI and VR and biohacking, and there's a place for all of that, I want to remind myself of the tremendous capacity of the human body to know itself, to heal itself, to connect with others, to connect with a realm that's beyond what we can see and what we can measure. That's not something an app is gonna be able to give me, and that's a hard truth. I have learned going into my 40s that relationships are extremely fragile. Whether it's your parents, it's your children, it's your oldest friends, relationships you thought you could count on since you were a child. In fact, those are the relationships that crack first at this stage because guess what? Everybody's dealing with their own shit. Whether it's ailing parents or dysfunctional children or bad relationships, bad careers, their own illnesses. Sometimes it's about you and sometimes it's not. In a sense, the fairy tale is over and that's a good thing because you're that much more conscious that none of these relationships are to be taken for granted. So in my 40s, I know that I will work fucking hard to keep and cherish the relationships that I do. In my 40s, I've learned that nobody knows what's best for you and you don't know what's best for anybody. Except don't tell my kids that yet. As somebody with deep, deep relationships, you always want to rush in and fix things and offer solutions and offer sage advice and often will get offended because they didn't take said advice. But the reality is we don't know. We don't know what somebody else should do. We barely know what we ourselves should do. So I think the game plan then is for other people to offer a suggestion, to let them know that you're there no matter what, and then to let them go through their own journey. And for myself, to stop getting so rattled by everything I hear about what I should do and trust that I know and I will learn and I will make the right decisions for myself. When it comes to your body, 40 may well be the new 20. I mean, we're doing more, Lord knows we're spending a lot more to maintain our functionality and our aesthetic. I mean, when I was 20, I thought 40 was ancient and yet Roger Federer is playing Grand Slams at 38. That's wonderful. However, the timeline is not infinite. And that's something that we need to remember. Today at 40, I'm fitter than I've ever been. I'm also more vulnerable. There's more wear and tear. There's more injury. So I have to learn to adjust and accept what comes my way. Menopause, menopause, changing skin, changing hair. It's all part of the process. And I can choose to either respect it and age gracefully or to fight it. And I don't even know what that alternative is. My body continues to be a really good friend to me. I have to be a better friend to it. The final hard truth is that death is inevitable and the ultimate equalizer. In a weird twist of faith, I lost my father a month before my 40th birthday. And I saw firsthand that you go with nothing. The legacy that you leave behind is not a building or a grand estate. It's whether you lived your life with integrity, with compassion, and with love. Here's to bringing all of that into my 40s. God, I sound like a fucking Hallmark card. Well, happy 40 to me and to anybody out there that's having a milestone birthday or a milestone moment in your life. 
Here's to 2020.